Good morning guys. Welcome to a weekly vlog. I realize I haven't actually vlogged in a while and the main reason is actually I've been sick and I've been sick for about two weeks which has been absolutely devastating and insane. It mean that obviously if I were to speak to the camera I would just cough and I would just sound sinusy and I would just sound like a ball of ick. Coming back with a vlog and I've missed vlogging so much. I've just spent the morning getting ready because me and my boyfriend Ron are going to Brighton for the weekend. Kind of to celebrate our three years together, which it's quite funny. Me and Ron were just sat there thinking about how quickly those three years have gone. Honestly crazy. Like I, I feel so old because that was also towards the end of university and I don't feel like a fully fledged adult yet. So I'm really confused at how or like the end of university was almost three years ago. Like that, that's just insane to me. This is such an adult thing to speak about, but we had a nightmare of a morning because I essentially put a hair mask in my hair. It was the Olaplex number three. So if any of you know how to use it, essentially you have to wet your hair, put the mask in and then wash it off. Except when I was ready to wash it off, I realized that the boiler didn't work because there was no hot water. We've had issues with our boiler, etc. cetera, blah, 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 but like, it is just the wrong time. So I have had an icy cold shower this morning. So I am very awake right now. <laughs> had a very cold start to my morning and a very early start to my morning. I'm not gonna lie, I did actually feel pretty great though, which is a bit weird, but. Yeah. Like I was saying, we are going to spend the weekend in Brighton and I'm actually really excited because I don't think I've been to Brighton since around Christmas time and now it's like May. For those of you who don't know, I did go to university in Brighton so I do really kind of like miss the area. Probably a lot more than I should but like I do just miss the area as a whole so essentially I like to go visit there sometimes. And eventually, fingers crossed, I would love to move there because I just love being by the sea. We are also going to go to a restaurant later on. And I think it's pronounced Mowgli. And it's like an Indian restaurant for our anniversary. And it looks insane. Like there's like little swings everywhere and there's like fairy lights that opened up. Like every time I've walked past it, it looked insane. So I'm actually really excited and I really want to sit on the swing. <laughs> I need to finish getting ready and then, yeah, we'll be off. Quick outfit of the day. I've got a black skirt from Hollister, a little cute little vest, which I love that I got recently. It says Mon Cherie on it, and I'm just absolutely in love with it. I'm a sucker for stuff like that, but this is also from Hollister. Got my docks, and that jacket is stolen from the boyfriend, but it's actually Tommy Hilfiger, and it's honestly one of my favorite jackets, so I've actually made a deal that it's actually my jacket now. Also, I did want to show you guys um, this gorgeous bouquet that Ron got me for our three years together. Like, look how pretty this is. Like, I'm such a sucker for these little, um, I think they're called gyps, or like gypsophilia, um, or gypsophila, I've definitely butchered that name, but they're one of my favorite flowers. I just think that they make every bouquet look so much nicer than it actually is. Um, and then I really like these white flowers, but I don't know what they're called. So if anyone knows, let me know because they are really pretty. They came with a little net around them so that you had to pull them off gently because I think the petals are really delicate. I had a bit of a mishap with that one over there so all the petals started falling off but this is what they're supposed to look like. And then one of my favorite things that you got me is this gigantic balloon. Like, I'm sorry, this looks amazing. Like, I wish I could take it with me. Very happy about that balloon. <laughs> Guys, look how pink my drink is. I realise that the top bit is a bit more pink than the bottom bit, but like, I think I need to give it like a good mix. But essentially, this is like the dragon coconut drink from Starbucks. And I only tried it for the first time yesterday, and it honestly tastes so good. Like, I googled what dragon fruit might taste like, because I'll be honest with you guys, I've never had dragon fruit in my life. Um, and it said it would be a mix between kiwi and pear. But I'm not really tasting that. But essentially this drink is a bit of me. So guys, we are in our Airbnb. So I'm gonna do like a little room tour or like flat tour. Is it what we would call this room? Flat? Studio. St uh, studio. So as you come in, you've got this really cute kitchen, which I'm such a big fan of this pink kettle and this pink toaster. I feel like they also match my nails, which, you know, they clearly did on purpose because why else would that be pink? And then they've got this gorgeous mirror here. And this is actually a pretty big mirror, isn't it? It's bigger than the Yeah, because the ceiling is actually quite high up. 
but I love this mirror. So I might do a few little um, selfies in here. We've got this little cute little sitting area with a little TV. Then got the bed. Well, there's a cute little fireplace as well, but I don't think it's an actual real fireplace that you can do anything with. It's just kind of like for aesthetic. You've got a little bedside table, and then you've just got a little bathroom here. I think we're gonna go ahead into town, like the lanes area, because I've missed that bit so much. And I think we're gonna grab something to eat. I think I'm kind of craving the falafel wraps that are kind of like in the lanes. I don't know what the name of it is, but I actually did a video I think it was last summer about places to eat in Brighton. So if you guys are wondering what places are good to eat in Brighton, definitely check that out. I have named that restaurant or like that little cafe there, but I need to go double check. I just know where it is, but I actually don't completely forgot the name, but it was so good. So I'm really craving that. Every time I come back to Brighton, I just feel like at home. Like it generally is just my second home at this point. Um, obviously I spent four years here during university. So it definitely does just feel like another home to me. Um, and I would love for maybe one day for it to be like my main home. But that's another story and another telling for another time. I pick one. Okay, yeah. I quite like that one actually, the one that you picked up, yeah. Quite a good cause, isn't it? Very cute as well. Well, I do. Shit house nice car. I still like that one, but I've got no car, but I still like that one. <laughs> it's like shit house, just shit house. <laughs> Ripe and ready. <laughs> I don't think that's socially acceptable. This one looks quite cool. Oh, that's some funky ones there too. Are they made by hand? It's now the evening and I now feel so much more fresh to do a little outfit of the day or outfit of the evening rather. So I am wearing this pink dress and I got it from Urban about like a year ago now. No wait, two years ago now because I remember this dress being a... Um, what do you call it? A contender for my graduation dress. But sadly it didn't make it but I love it so much. Um, so I've decided to wear this to that Indian restaurant that I was talking about earlier. I'll take you guys with me. And I once again match the toaster in the back. Guys, this place looks so good. Like you can just see the lights behind our heads. But essentially we're sat down for a bit because we want to get on the little swing seats. It looks really, really cool. Uh, finally sat down and the seats are quite literally swings. We got our little starter. How do you feel to be on a swing? Dangerous. Dangerous? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's weird, but guys, look at the interior of this place. Like, I'm fucking obsessed. Got on our food. We went for three little curries. Basically, this place kind of works like in a tapasi kind of way. So like each curry is quite small, but then you can like share it, which is really nice. Uh, yeah, the butter chicken here. I think this is the lamb. And then this one is, I think the ginger chicken. And it looks all so good. I think three curries is a good shout. Yeah, definitely. Honestly, oh, I can't wait to dig in. Real special treat for a special summer. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, we're gonna do an Aldi shop. What are you holding? <laughs> what are you holding for? Two Costco bags. Is it for our Aldi shop? It's for you. <laughs> That's such a weird name for a sauce. I'm just gonna go to the corn shop to grab some skeeters. I'm trying to get more things with protein in and I've just seen this little protein pudding and they also do mousse which looks insane and I don't know which one I want to try hmm. I might try the pudding but the mousse also sounds really really good they also do a salted caramel flavor oh my god <gasps> no stop it oh, I've got to try it 
Okay, we are back from Aldi. Aldi had so many cool things that I really wanted to try out. And this is why I actually really like Aldi because they randomly bring in new things to try. And I, I'm the type of person to get quite bored of eating the same thing pretty much every day. Well, I'm gonna sit and enjoy this. And then I think afterwards, me and Ron are gonna head into town. Ron needs to get a haircut. So whilst he's doing that, I'm actually gonna go have a little browse in some of the shops. I have actually already had a little browse in the shops. I think not that long ago. I wanna say like a couple of days ago and I didn't see too much. But I am actually on the hunt for a kind of like spring summer jacket because at the moment i've got like a denim jacket and i've got like my winter jacket see i just don't know what to wear like so for example today i am wearing like a little top and a satin skirt obviously i have changed since going to aldi i was wearing gym leggings before um but like jacket wise at the moment it's supposed to be hella windy and i can't lie the trees outside are telling me that it's hella windy i think i'm looking for like a really oversized denim jacket that isn't cropped but isn't that weird mid-length either kind of just a little bit longer i don't know i might start actually scouting out the men's section but i actually don't know what people are wearing please let me know what you're wearing when it's like windy or if there's a chance of rain like but it could be warm or humid. Like, what are you supposed to be wearing? Because I obviously want it to look good, but at the same time, I'm literally asking it of pure practicality. I think I'm gonna sit, enjoy my little protein pudding. I think Ron's also gonna be making us toasties for lunch. Um, whilst he's doing that, I am gonna actually continue editing a, another video. I'm pretty sure it's my haul video that I need to continue with. If that's up, which it should be, I will link it somewhere here. Okay, so outfit of the day that I'm gonna be in town with is this little top that i actually got from i want to say tk maxx but it's actually bershka and i absolutely love this top because it's got like a little bear with wings on it satin skirt is from zara i got this not that long ago i want to say like at the beginning of spring and then this blue denim jacket which is like balloon sleeved is from hollister so like i was saying earlier i was kind of looking for like a spring kind of jacket at the moment i've got my blue denim one on that i love but i was kind of looking for something particularly for work so i popped into h&m and i saw that they did this um stone colored jacket but it's a material of like an outdoorsy jacket it does look quite casual on but i just thought with the buttons and stuff it actually might make a good work jacket it's got the outdoor material because i think if it just felt like a normal shirt ish kind of or like a really soft material i wouldn't go for it because you know if it rains or if it's windy like i do want to feel slightly warm we saw this top and i thought it was pretty cool um and it basically is like a little tee with film on and it does say look at my back and i did think that it was going to have the hugest pattern on the back but all it says is kodak i quite liked this and i think i'm going to wear it also to work and then we popped into primark to have a little look and i decided to get a another top for work or just summer in general and it's this little cute baby tee and it's baby blue and it's got this beautiful lace design on it and i just thought it's as a cute little top just to wear about i think that would be so nice um that was literally just five pounds so you can't really complain there and i think it fits really well and i decided to get myself a little pajama set because i can't lie the last time that i bought myself new pajamas has been quite some time ago they had a little pajama set which is kind of like this gorgeous crap material as well it does come with the little top and a pair of shorts I can't lie, I didn't know which size to get, so I got two sizes and I'm gonna try them both on. Then we went to Oliver Bonus and I had my eye on a pair of shades. I don't think I've actually mentioned it yet on here, but me and my friends are doing Pride this year and we're doing Pride in Brighton and I'm so, so excited for it. And it does mean that I'm trying to like curate a little bit of an outfit. I saw these shades and I just thought, oh my God, yes, this would be amazing for Pride. And then also, I just love these. Basically, it's this pair of shades from Oliver Bonus. They've got a red rim around them, and I love them. Them is also just a bit of me. I just think that they're so fun, and like, they're fucking red. Just as a cute little accessory as well. I love that they're red, and they just like pop a little bit more. So yeah, that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I've been vlogging a lot more recently, so I think anything else that I've vlogged, I will include into the next vlog. 
um so stay tuned for those i shall see you guys very soon for a brand new video Mwah. bye guys